good day. My name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in six. The topic of this tutorial is deflection of beams, example 3.3. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first I'm going to read the question. Oil with a density of 800 kgs per meter cubed is pumped through a pipe with an outside diameter of 500 millimeters and a wall thickness of 20 millimeters. Calculate the maximum distance between the supports if the density of the pipe material is 7,800 kgs per meter cubed and the allowable stress in the pipe is of the material must not exceed 60 megapascals. Okay, first thing we need to do is actually formula, calculate what they want. So what they're wanting is, I'm going to give you a brief explanation. Here is our pipe. What they're wanting is here's the supports. Here's the supports that go through the beam. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the supports. Now, between here and here, that distance L, that is what they're looking for. Between the supports, what's the maximum you can keep those supports without the beam sagging. Because it's got a heavy oil inside it, and the weight of the sh and the weight of the tube itself is very heavy. So does it, we don't want it to buckle under its own weight and the weight of the oil inside it. So you want to keep it as straight as possible. So what is the length that we can maximize that? So you can't just put one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and carry on. Mm -hmm. So you do it in, st in steps. It goes in steps and steps and steps and steps. So what is the length between each step? So what is the length between each step here? There's, there's step one and step two. What's the distance between those two? The maximum distance we can go without bending the pipe. Alright, so first things first, the first things first is we're going to put our values to the right hand side. Always values to the right hand side. Okay, and also we want, they've given us the wall thickness of the pipe. They've given us the wall thickness, so between here and here is 500 millimeters. So, here and here is 20 and 20. So you minus 500 minus 40. So it's 500 minus 40 is 460 for the inside diameter. So, first things first, is the density of oil is 800 kg per meter cubed. Now the outside diameter, big D, is 500, or, to make calculations easier, 0 0,5 meters, little d, is 0 0,46 meters, and our density, our density of the pipe, is seven eight double zero kg per meter cubed and also our allowable stress in the pipe so rho is 60 times 10 to the 6 if this is if this was giga pascals it would be 9 so, but it's, it is megapascals. Mega means a million. So it's one million, it's 60 million pascals. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is calculate. So, first things first. We're going to use this formula. M. 
over r equals theta over y. Right. So, let's see what do we have and what do we want to calculate. We only have rho. We only have rho. We don't have i and we don't have y. Mm -hmm. So, i, i is equal to pi over 64 times d to the 4 minus d to the 4. Right, that is that. And y, in this particular case, is big D over 2. Okay, so we have all these values. We have these numbers. And all, that, all we have to do is just put them into our formula. So, what we're going to do now is say i is equal to pi over 64 times 0, 0,5 to the power of 4 minus 0, 0,46 to the power of 4 and get, we are going to get i is equal to 870,1 times 10 to the minus 6 meters to the 4th. So, I, well, this will be important later, so 870,1 times 10 to the minus 6 meters to the 4th power. Okay. So now Y. Y is Five hundred over two. So two fifteen. So y is equal to the zero comma two five meters. Okay. So next part of the next part of the sum. So we have our formula. Now what we need to do. Now, what we have, let's see what we need and what we have. We have i, we have rho, and we have y. So all I have to do is move i to rho. And then I have m by itself. So m equals rho i over y, which equals 60 times 10 to the 6 times 870,1 times 10 to the minus 6 all over 0, 0,25 equals okay. M is equal to 208 comma eight two four kilo newton meters. Okay. So two eight comma eight two four. Right. So we have that. Now what we need, now what we need is to calculate the weight of the pipe and the weight of the oil. So we can do that with density formulas. So our formula will be the weight of the pipe. So now let's put it down here. Weight of the pipe, weight of the oil. Volume times density times gravity. Right, so volume of the pipe is pi over 4 times 0, 0,5 times 0, 0 0,5 squared minus 0, 0,46 squared 
times one meter times seven eight double zero times nine comma eight one. Okay. So that is our formula. And our answer is two comma three oh eight <coughs> kilo newton meters. Okay, that's the weight of the pipe. Two comma two comma three oh eight kilo newton meters. Right. Now what we have to do is calculate the weight of the oil. Now all we have to do with the weight of the oil is take most of this out. What we have to do is go like this for the oil. So 0, 0,46 squared times 1 times 800, because that's the density of the oil, times 9,81. So 1 is times by meter. So this is all done. Weight is done per meter. So it's kgs per meter, because it's a pipe. If it were, if it were a solid block, it would be... It's still in meters, it'll be in meters cubed. That's why they want the volume of the oil. So, this will equal 1,304 kilonewton meters. Right, 1,304 kilonewton All right, now what we have to do is that's the other formula. I'm just keeping our formulas up so that you can see how we've progressed through the sum. Right, the next part is M max, which we have by the way, is equal to the weight times L squared over 8. So, in this case, we double that. So, weight times L squared over 8. In this case, we double it. So, we've got weight of the pipe and weight of the oil. In this particular case. So, let's take L2 out. So, we have L squared times weight of the pipe over 8 plus weight of the oil over 8. Okay. Now we have our M, which is 208, comma, 8, Four. Right, so let's put in our weights. L squared is equal to 2, 308 over 8 plus 1, 304 over 8. You can combine the two and just have the plus up top and take away one of the 8s. But this just makes it simpler. Right, so do that calculation, and we land up with 0, 0,4515 L squared, 208,824. Right, now all we have to do is say L is equal to 208,824 over 0, 0,4515 the root thereof gives me L and L is what we are looking for 
sum. This equals 21,51 meters. That is the distance. So here's your pipe. And there's your stands that your pipe is on. Now this is the distance between them. So it's 21,51. That is the maximum distance they can be. That is the maximum distance they can be without your pipe bending. Or deflecting or anything. Or sagging or anything like that. Your pipe will remain straight. Even though they are that far apart. They're 21 0.51 meters apart. If you found this tutorial has helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it helps to it helps with the algorithm and helps the channel to grow. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.